happening. So, let's try and address some, some of the things we talked about. Okay, so we're passing half guard. We've already got the underhook. We're not going to smash him because we don't want to get bridged. And it's a different pass. I want him on his side so that this bottom thigh here of Jordan's is going to be touching the ground. Okay, this is exactly perfect. All right, so, butterfly grip. Why the butterfly grip? Because if I just took a, a gable on Jordan, Jordan's so skinny now, there's all this clay there. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting zero pressure, zero connection with my shoulder. But if I just go in, look. Now for me, I've, I've got almost to my elbows here. That's fine, you might not get that far. But that's the good thing about the butterfly grip is it allows you to just fill the space as required, okay? And then Jordan's on, on his side, which is gonna make this next part easier, is bringing him into me, look, here. Now I'm not leaning all the way across him where I'm gonna compromise my base and I'm gonna get rolled over, okay? So it's not like a, I'm trying to smash him with my shoulder. I'm bringing him up to me and I'm here, yeah? If he puts his back to the ground now, it's very difficult. If I keep my balance nice and neutral, he tries to bridge me, I'm going nowhere, okay? Now, it's very important from here that I get this knee high up here, yeah, up by his shoulder, up in his armpit, up by his head. Okay? That's going to allow me to use my left toes to pry open his bottom leg. Okay? If this is down low here and I'm trying to get in, it's not going to happen. But up high and walking his legs around, look, here I'm now able to find my toes in and now Try open, double hooks position. So, same thing, look. Okay, he's coming towards me. I bring him up. He can't put his back flat. Okay, high knee. Okay, nice and high. That's going to allow me to use my foot later. But if he points his knees to the sky, I'm never going to be able to get this. Okay, so I'm walking. Now I find his calf look, wiggle my feet in, yeah, he can make it hard or, or not, I've just got to wiggle and find it look, and I can open his calf, up, okay. Double hooks position, and then some of you were struggling here like, ah, my hips, my hips don't go, and I, I can't take my feet out, just raise up a little bit look, okay, so I just raise my hips up and forward a little bit, he does nothing, all right? He's not going to bridge yet. We're not going to deal with the bridge yet. So he's just going to stay there. You realize that with your double hooks. He's not doing anything. I take the double hooks out in one motion. So you kind of go out and then you slide them back in. That's going to stop him from reclaiming some half guard or whatever, you know, as I'm doing it. Okay? But just by raising my bum up a little bit, a little bit forward towards his head, it's going to give me the freedom in the hips to do that. Okay, especially if you're not uh, very flexible in the hips. Does that make sense? Okay. Does anyone want to ask any questions about that initial pass before we just move on to the, the second variation? Yeah, feel free. You don't understand? We're all good. Brilliant. I must, be, I must be a good teacher. Oh. Uh. When you want to start, do you always keep a flat foot? Or do you... It doesn't matter if you're on your toes. Um, you can be on your toes. I tend to keep a flat foot, I think. It's what we talked about with some of the guys over here, is I don't want to get caught in a lockdown. Okay? So whether I'm on my toes or flat, what I definitely don't want to be. I can be here, this is fine. Yeah, so I can be on my toes or I can be flat. All right? But what I don't want really is to be down here. Okay? That's when I'm going to get caught in stuff. Right? And then I've got to deal with the lockdown. But if I go here, look, and I'm on my toes, trying to lock down. Yeah, I can make life difficult for him. Pull okay. in. You see how I've walked his thigh back to the ground? This knee's nice and high. It's going to allow my foot, look, and I've got to find that spot. Boom. Knee out. Double position. Okay. Now, he's going to try and bridge. Uh, Alright, that's what I don't want to happen. So, if he does try and bridge, go. I'm going to use my head 
to base and I'm going to do a windshield wiper into side control. Actually, that time I ended up in neon belly, but side control, neon belly, you'll, you'll feel how much you need to go to stop the motion, okay? I only needed to go to neon belly because I'm quite heavy, okay? So he goes to bridge and I'm going to windshield wiper off. So if I do that in slow motion, just without Jordan bridging, look, this leg's going to come over. As soon as this one gets to here, that one comes out. And then I settle in, okay? Because now, to bridge me in that direction, I've changed my center of gravity from being on top of Jordan to being somewhere off and over here. Now for him to lift me all the way over him in that direction becomes very, very difficult, okay? And unless it's Eddie Hall and John, it's not gonna work. Does that make sense? Yeah? So, once you're in this position here, and he goes to bridge, I'm gonna just base with my head a little bit, nice and far out. One of the mistakes people can make with this is putting your head right next to his head, okay? And then you get rotated over your own head, all right? And you still go over, and sometimes you end up cranking your neck. Yeah, you want to avoid that. So, nice and far away, not ridiculously far, but give yourself some, some uh, leverage and then you're gonna windshield wipe your legs off. Okay, so the initial pass is the same. Step one was he did nothing. Thank you, I take mount. Step two is he thinks, ah, I can bridge him that way. So he bridges and I dismount and I come to side control on the opposite side to his bridge. Okay, what if he tries to bridge me the other way? I hear you ask. What if he tries to bridge you the other way? What if he tries, <laughs> what if he tries, hey? Post head to the opposite side. Really? Let me, let me do the whole thing so I end up in a, in a nice, tight position. Look. Find my way in. Do Bridge to your left. Uh-uh. Bridge the other way. You see? Now, once I get to here, I can apply shoulder pressure. Because he's got nothing now. So, for him to bridge to his right, you're a brown belt. That's my right. That's, that's not your right. Oh, they're right. <laughs> yeah. To go to the right, look, I've Where's got the shoulder heart? pressure. He can't go. He can only go to his left. All right? I don't, you can't get the stuff. <laughs> you can't get the stuff. He's nearly asleep. You hear that? So the shoulder pressure is keeping my feet down. Yes. I'm turning his jaw. Where the head goes, the body follows. He's looking that way with my shoulder pressure. Once I get to the hooks position. Once I'm in the hooks position, the shoulder pressure is safe. Yeah, because I've done the job. Remember, the shoulder pressure we took away so that he would turn on his side and I could get this on the ground. That job's finished. As soon as I get my knees free, that job is finished. Then I can go back to some shoulder pressure and give it to him. That makes sense? Yeah? Then I'm going to windshield wiper. Remember, when we went to mount to stop anything from happening, we took both legs out at once. Remember, to windshield wiper. So, I'll put it on nice and gentle just, just with my grip here. So, to windscreen wiper, which leg, right leg or left leg, is going to move first as I go to my left? My right leg. My right leg. Yes. Because if I take my left leg out, he's going to catch my foot. And he's going to make life hard for me again. And if he can push my knee back in, I'm exactly back where I started. Okay? But if I move my right first, look. Yeah, try and catch that foot. Yeah, not happening. And then it comes out, and then I slide into my side control position. Okay? Some of you might pit stop here a little bit. You just have to be careful that your weight isn't too far this way because you're still going to get bridged, okay? So if you're in a neutral-ish sort of position here, he tries to bridge, yeah, I'm going to go nowhere. If I'm all the way over here, yeah, bad weight. All right, so if you're light especially, you're going to need to come more in that direction towards side control to counterbalance his strong bridge. Okay? Are we getting on the right or not? Sure. So, same thing, look. Yeah, he's coming towards me. 
I bring him up. He can't put his back flat. Okay, high knee. Okay, nice and high. That's going to allow me to use my foot later. But if he points his knees to the sky, I'm never going to be able to get this. Okay, so I'm walking. Now I find his calf muscle. Wiggle my feet in. Yeah, if he can make it hard or, or not, I've just got to wiggle and find it. Look, and I can open his calf. Up. Okay. And now he says, I'm going to bridge this time. Base with my head, windshield wiper, and we come off into side control. As soon as I'm in side control, toes in the mat, knees nice and wide. Okay. Now this is a point I, I, I've asked where I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be flat on the tops of my feet in side control. Please don't do this, okay? Nice active toes, wide knees. What's wide knees gonna do, Ben, to my center of gravity? Yeah, keep it a bit lower. Keep it lower, Stay yeah, because if he wants to bail me over, that's exactly what I don't want. I want low center of gravity. High center of gravity, easy to tip. Okay, guys, so this one, we just gotta be a little bit careful with the space around us. When we dismount into side control, we don't kick our friend in the face, okay? They're not your friend, it's cool, kick them in the face. <laughs> All right, okay, let's go.